here for my man, Mr. Brandon Jordan Rice. What's up, everybody? Give it up to the Black Ninja Turtle one more time. Black Ninja Turtle. Give it up for everybody that's gonna stand on stage and make an ass of yourself tonight. I bet y'all don't make a bigger ass than I do. What about this orange I'm wearing? How many Tennessee fans we got? Woo! It don't fucking matter if you Tennessee fans or not. We beat Florida and I'm fucking happy about it. Rape whistle, I don't want nobody to be trying to grab me, neither, you hear me? I got a buddy in here that's pretty big, by the way. So, everybody ready for winter? No, I don't like winter, neither, because I can't show my six-pack abs off. And it ain't from smoking meth, neither, y'all. You know what I mean? Okay, like, uh, is anybody educated in here? Does anybody watch the fucking Discovery Channel? It don't matter if you do or not, I'm still going to tell you. A mollusk, it's a fish. Okay, this fish travels all the way from Alaska to Chile to get laid, right? To breed. I bet a lot of y'all motherfuckers drive that far to get some pussy, don't you? You know what I mean? I'll tell you what, I have, I've witnessed three goat fuckings, Jesus walking on water, and you know what I seen the other day? I seen a seven foot midget drowning the fucking fish. Now I ain't that some shit, you know what I mean? How many ladies we got in the house that likes to have sex? You know you'll catch a disease from that shit, don't you? You know what I mean? But no, sex, sex is a good thing if you know what you're doing. I ain't got no teeth. How many women's got roses in here? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I got, except mine's a real one. You know what I mean? All right, all right. Houston Orange pulled it out today, didn't they? That's something that y'all should be proud of, you know what I mean? Houston Oilers. Uh, you throw that, throw that shit from Houston, you know what I mean? But no, uh, let's see, what else we got tonight? We got all kinds of stuff Shorty can talk about, you know what I mean? How many people's ever been strung out on dope before? Not this week. Not this week? <laughs> Trying to quit? I'll tell you the best way to quit, go to jail. Oh, damn. <laughs> right, right. But they call California sober where you smoke pot but don't do nothing else. That's me, I'm California sober, you know what I mean? But, uh, let me ask y'all a question. You think Shorty looks like Rob there and got a skate, got a needle instead of a skateboard for Christmas? Or does, hey, does Shorty look like a microwave Kenny Chesney? What about that one? Or what about Mark Wahlberg smoke meth instead of cook hamburgers? Is that a good one? How many lesbians we got in the house tonight? Two. I, damn, y'all are all up front. Can y'all start now or y'all want to wait past my set? Okay, that's fine, whatever. But anyway, uh, y'all, people remember the uh, cartoon Alf, right? Everybody remembers Alf, right? That's what I call lesbians nowadays. They fed Alf house cats, y'all. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and women, while we're, on the, while we're on the subject of women, how many of y'all ever bitched at a man for not being able to keep his dick up? Oh, so y'all just fucking let live with it, right? That's a lie. Y'all bitch like a motherfucker when he can't keep his dick up. You know what? Y'all just have to lay there and get stabbed like Ted Bundy does in them Florida State girls. You know what I mean? It's hard to keep something up when you're 50 years old and it looks like a bent carrot commercial. Y'all seen that commercial? Ain't that some shit? I didn't know there was a bent dick in real life, but I sure as hell wouldn't take no fucking pill for it. I'd be happy to have a bent dick. Then I could maybe get the G-spot once, right? Yeah, you know what I mean? I used to, I used to, I, I like big women. I love big women. You know why? Because I like to be able to not see myself behind them. You know what I mean? It's fun doing that too. You know what I mean? Bigger, bigger women love you. You know what I mean? Because they cook for you. They cook for you. I like to eat. I smoke pot. I like to eat. It don't look like I eat shit, does it? But I do. I do eat. But uh, yeah, you know what I mean? I like women. If you ain't never throw a Twinkie up after sex, you need to try it one time. And how many people has uh, ever been in the bedroom with somebody bigger than them in the bed? You kind of go to the middle, or whichever side they're sleeping on. Yeah, I'm sleeping in the middle of the fucking bed all the time. Who wants to hear a story about Shorty? Y'all don't want to hear true stories? All right. We, I was in jail one time. One time. I've been a lot, but this was one time. One time. 
I had a guy owed ninety dollars in jail, and in jail, if anybody knows, you gotta pay your fucking debt. If you don't pay your debt, you'll get fucked. Which <laughs> I pay my fucking debt. Put that way. Anyway, so we told him we was like, we'll put a tattoo on you, and we'll clear your whole debt. Well, 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 we got to pick the tattoo that we put on this man. Now we're trying to think of the fucked up thing. Fairies, fucking monkeys, we're thinking of goddamn Care Bears, anything. So, we think of a dick tattoo, ladies and gentlemen. We put a dick and two balls on this dude's lower back. Next morning, I hollered for the fucking guard that runs the fucking jail, Barbara Scaff. She looks like Charlie Brown with a fucking bowl cut. Like literally, she got bigger balls than most men does, and I'm not talking Bruce Jenner me. But no, she come back and she's like, what the fuck you want, shorty? And I was like, look, Dylan, turn around and show Barb. Now I can get in trouble for this. She said, Dylan, you need to turn around and show me you're going the fucking hole. He had to get up. Now ladies and gentlemen, he had to get up and show the goddamn woman his two dicks and balls on his back. Ladies and gentlemen, I got charged for that fucking shit because it got word on the street to his mother. When I went to court, you know what the judge said? Nobody, no clue. The judge was like, if he's stupid enough, let somebody put two dicks in the bottles on his back, then he deserves to wear the rest of his fucking life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Monty. If you like me, love me, my name's Carl Shorty Rice. Follow me on everything. Drugs are bad. Smoke pot. <laughs> you know, you know, weed is pot. It mean, weed is drugs. Thank you. Give it up one more time for Brian Shorty Rice, everybody.